Hey folks, what we're doing today is we are going to check a Jeep with a six cylinder 4.0 to see if it has a head gasket leak because it overheated and it needs a water pump. But because she overheated it twice, I want to make sure that the head gasket is not ruined. So AutoZone, you can rent this. Um, gas engine combustion leak tester from OEM. All right. It's about 30 bucks or so. You rent it because technically you're buying it and then you return and you get your 30 bucks back. But this you have to pay for. It's about 10 bucks. Give or take. Combustion leak detection fluid. And the way this works is, let me see if I can open this up for you. Okay. When you open it up, that's basically what it is. This here, you're gonna you're gonna empty out your radiator to about maybe three inches below the level. This here is gonna sit into your radiator cap. Or, I mean your radiator like that. You're gonna hold it in there. You're gonna take your little blue fluid and you're gonna put it in here until it reaches the fluid level. Okay. Then they have a little a little pump over here for you to pump air into the system. That's what this thing here is for. I'm trying to set this up so I can do it. Okay, this is just like a little, little squeezing thing. You're going to go in here, stick it in here, and you're going to squeeze it. You're going to pump air into it, and it's going to suck out the air through the bubbles, through the fluid, which is going to be blue. And if the blue fluid changes to a greenish, yellowish, that means you have exhaust fumes in the cooling system, meaning that it's a possible head gasket. All right, it's a fairly simple test. We are gonna try it. Like I said, gonna put the fluid right up there here. Stick this into the radiator after we drain, you know, about two, three inches of it, because you don't want this thing to suck in any antifreeze, okay? You just basically just want the air, right? So that's what we're gonna do. Gonna see if we can set it up over there on the car while it's sitting. I want to see if it works. All right, let's go do that. All right, so here's the the one we're gonna test with a little six cylinder Jeep. Antifreeze is already drained already because it has a antifreeze leak, so it's good. It's below its um, level, so it won't be sucking up anything. I'll put you up on this little tripod here. All right. Hopefully it'll stay right there. It won't fall on you. I'm going to take this little fluid here. Open it up. So you can peel the cap off here. It's brand new. Hello, birdies. All right, so I'm going to peel it open. I'm going to take my little kit here. Open it up. I'm going to take the two items out. A little ball. And this little combustion tester. Put this off to the side. And I'm going to fill this thing up to its level. So let's pour some in here. A little bit more. There you go. All right, that's about leveled. Put the cap back on so you don't lose it. All right, so I'm going to grab this piece, the ball. All right, that's how it works. This thing is going to go over the right of the cap. I mean the radiator, like this, nice and sealed. And what I want to do is I'm going to squeeze that little ball and try to get some air coming out of it. Okay, that's the whole idea of it. I'm going to get this to work. Okay, I'm going to set you up on this side. I am going to go start up the car. Then I'm going to do the test. Ready? Let's go start it up. Okay. 
All right, so we got it running. I'm gonna stick this in here, make it nice and sealed, hold it down. I'm gonna squeeze this ball. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'm getting some air in there. You can see the little bubbles. The right idea is to try to suck up some air bubbles in there. If it was leaking pretty bad, this thing would have turned green or yellow or ready to color. But it's stained blue. So that's a very good sign. Let right, me do it again. It's actually drawing air up through the little filter in there. Okay? Like I said, inside there, there's no antifreeze. It's wet. Because you do not want to draw up any antifreeze through there. It ruins the whole test. Alright? So, do it again. You'll let it warm up a little bit if you want, but believe me, if it was leaking, it would have been leaking already. So, it's good to say that this does not have a head gasket leak. Just a regular water pump leak. That, of course, you know, all the other stuff that looks like it's really old, that should be changed too. All right, so I don't want to run it too long. Don't want to ruin the head gasket as I'm trying to fix the head gasket. Fix the water pump, okay? Oh, I got to suck up some more. Let's see. Maybe the thermostat opened by now. Okay, squeezing the bubbles, drawing some air up there. So the idea basically is to sense any kind of a exhaust fumes or combustion fumes that will be in the cooling system because a head gasket is leaking. Do it a couple of times. Like I said, it'll turn green or like a yellow tint if there was even a hint of a head gasket leak. Solid blue, people. Solid blue. Oh, it's a little bit green. See it? Turning green is yellow there. Oh yeah. Not good. Okay, I looked in there. There is no antifreeze in there. So it's not contaminating the test. But yes. Apparently, this has a head gasket problem. Because it, it was overheated when they drove it. All right, so it's no longer blue. It's got the greenish, yellowish tint. Definitely has a head gasket problem. All right. Like I said, there's nothing in here. It's all sealed. Okay. Stick my finger in there. It's definitely empty. So it's not contaminated with any kind of antifreeze. This is nice and tight over the right of the hole. Squeeze it a couple of times and the blue tint has turned yellow. Okay. I'm going to do it again. You know what? I'm going to change the fluid. Let's change the fluid. Then put you on hold. I change the fluid. All right. We change the fluid. There it is. 
nice and blue. We're gonna do that test again. All right. Look at that. Turning green instantly. All right. So yeah, it's got a problem. All right. So definitely head gasket time. All right. I'm gonna shut it down because it's starting to overheat now. So yeah, got 150,000 miles on it. At least that's what it says on the odometer. This is a 2004. So yeah, it's gonna have a problem. And it's green. All right. Tell customer the bad news. All right. Thanks for watching. This is the OEM brand gas engine combustion leak tester with the fluid that you buy. Okay? That's it. Thanks for watching, folks. Ciao. Oh, and FYI, this is how much fluid I used for the two times that I tested it. All right? So, was that maybe a quarter of it? All right? So now I have that sitting on my shelf until I get another car to do another test. All right. Ciao. All right, as, as for an extra, I'm going to try this on a 69 dot. You ready? Let me go start it. So my battery's gonna die there. Ready? Let's do it. Same thing, all right? Two, three inches, no antifreeze. So far, so good. Drawing the air in. Think we're good. The hoses are hot. Still blue. Nice, bright. Looks like winter washer fluid, right?
48,000 original miles, 1969 Dart. All I got was a uh, thermostat and a new recoiled radiator. That gasket is still good. The old six cylinder. It's a 225. Amazing, right? All right. Pass on this car. Gas engine combustion leak tester. Done. Passed. Inspection. Ta-da. All nice and blue. Okay. It looks like when she washed the fluid. All right. That's it. I'm done. Thanks for watching.